Ever wondered how to start your own online store? Imagine having the freedom to work from any corner of the world at any hour you like. Imagine the thrill of seeing your products loved and bought by people across the globe. Think of the potential earnings reaching heights you've only dreamt of. Sounds enticing, right? This isn't just a distant dream, but a tangible reality for many. And guess what? You can be a part of this exciting journey too. Well, the answer to that million dollar question lies in Shopify. So what exactly is Shopify? Well, let's dive right in. Shopify is a leading e-commerce platform that allows anyone to set up an online store and sell their products. It's a one-stop shop for all your e-commerce needs, providing everything you need to start, run, and grow your business. Shopify is designed to be user-friendly, even for beginners. It offers a range of customizable themes to make your online store look professional and appealing. Plus, it comes with a host of features to manage your inventory, process payments, and even handle shipping logistics. But what makes Shopify a popular choice? It's the simplicity and scalability. Whether you're selling handmade crafts or running a multinational corporation, Shopify can handle it all. It grows with your business, allowing you to add more features or expand your store as needed. In other words, it's your ticket to the e-commerce world. Step one on this journey is signing up. Now don't worry, it's as easy as pie. Head on over to Shopify's website, spot that big friendly start free trial button, give it a good old click. Now, you'll need to enter some basic information, your email address, a password, and most importantly, your store name. Choosing your store name is like picking out a hat. It's gotta fit you just right. It should be unique, catchy, and relevant to what you're selling. Got a name in mind? Great. Punch it in and see if it's available. If it is, well, congratulations. If not, don't sweat it. Try a different variation or consider using a thesaurus. There's always a way to make it work. Once you've got your name squared away, follow the prompts to complete your sign-up. And just like that, you are one step closer to owning your online store. Step two is where the fun begins, customizing your store. Now, imagine your Shopify store as your very own digital real estate. Just like a brick and mortar store, you want to create an environment that is inviting, easy to navigate, and reflective of your brand's unique personality. Let's start with themes. Shopify offers a plethora of free and premium themes that can transform your store's appearance with just a few clicks. Think of a theme as the paint job and exterior design of your store. It sets the tone and creates the first impression for customers when they land on your page. So choose a theme that aligns with your brand identity whether that's sleek and modern, fun and playful, or rustic and homemade. Next, we move on to layout. The layout of your store is like the interior design of a physical shop. It's all about guiding your customers to the products they want while showcasing the best you have to offer. With Shopify, you can customize your layout by adding or removing sections, changing the order of sections, and even adjusting the content within each section. You can create a layout that provides an intuitive shopping experience for your customers. And of course, what's a store without products? A adding products to your Shopify store is as simple as uploading a photo, writing a description, and setting a price. But don't just stop there. Get creative with your product descriptions. Make them engaging and informative. Remember, customers can't physically touch or see your products. So your descriptions and photos need to paint a vivid picture. Last but not least, don't forget about your store's logo and color scheme. These elements are the cherry on top that tie everything together and reinforce your brand identity. Shopify makes it easy to upload your logo and choose a color scheme that matches your brand's aesthetics. Remember, your store is your brand, so make it stand out. The more effort you put into customizing your Shopify store, the more it will resonate with your customers and the more they'll want to shop with you. So roll up those sleeves and start making your store a place where customers feel at home. Step three is all about the money, setting up payments. Now, the beauty of Shopify is that it allows you to set up a range of payment methods. It's like a buffet of financial options for your customers. The more, the merrier. So, let's get into it. First off, you need to navigate to the Settings section, then click on Payment Providers. Here you'll find a list of payment gateways that Shopify supports. You've got options like PayPal, Stripe, and Shopify Payments, among others. Remember, it's crucial to offer multiple payment options. You wouldn't want to lose a sale just because your store doesn't accept a particular credit card, would you? Of course not. So, cater to all by offering a variety of payment methods. Also, don't forget about setting up your shipping options. You'll find this under Settings, and then Shipping and Delivery. Here, 
you can set up different shipping rates and methods. It's all about making the shopping experience as smooth as a silk pajama for your customers. And there you have it. With a few clicks here and a few clicks there, you've set yourself up to receive payments from all over the world. It's like opening the floodgates to a river of commerce. So take a moment to pat yourself on the back. You've just completed one of the most critical steps in setting up your online store. Now, you're ready to accept those sweet, sweet payments. Step four is the big one, launching your store. But before we hit that launch button, let's make sure we've got all our ducks in a row. And it's like hosting a grand party. You wouldn't want your guests to arrive before the decorations are up, would you? First off, let's review all the settings. Check that your payment gateways are functioning properly. Ensure your product listings are accurate, with crisp images and compelling descriptions. Your store policies should be clear and customer-friendly. Next, test your store. Pretend to be a customer. Try adding products to the cart, checking out, and making a purchase. This will give you a first-hand experience of what your customers will go through. Now, let's talk about the exciting part, the launch. It's time to let your store see the light of day. Hit that launch button with confidence, knowing you've done your due diligence. Your store is now live and ready to welcome customers from all over the world. Remember, launching your store is just the beginning. There's a whole journey ahead filled with tweaks, updates, and innovations. But don't worry, we'll be there with you every step of the way. And just like that, you've done it. You've taken the leap and created something entirely your own. It's a moment of pride, a moment of joy, and a moment of anticipation for what's to come. Congratulations, you've officially launched your online store. But wait, the journey doesn't end with the launch. After you've set your online store into motion, you're going to want to keep that momentum going. Just like a rocket after it's left the atmosphere, you need to keep an eye on the controls and adjust your course as needed. The first tip we have for you is to monitor your store's performance. Keep an eagle eye on your sales, website traffic, and customer reviews. These metrics will tell you a story about how well your store is doing and where you might need to make adjustments. Next on the list is engaging with your customers. You've got to be like the host of a great party, always there, always attentive. Answer queries promptly, acknowledge reviews, and don't shy away from a little chit-chat. Remember, every interaction is an opportunity to build rapport and trust with your customers. Last but not least, continuously update your store. Your online shop is a living, breathing entity. It needs to stay fresh and relevant. Keep up with trends, update your product range, and don't be afraid to experiment with new store designs. A stale shop is like old bread. Nobody wants it. So there you have it. Monitor, engage, and update. Three simple but powerful post-launch tips to keep your online store thriving. Remember, an online store is like a plant. It needs constant care to grow. We've covered a lot today, but the learning doesn't stop here. You see, here at Money Masters, we're all about empowering you with the knowledge to take control of your financial future. We've just scratched the surface on Shopify, but there's a whole universe of topics we dive into, from investing in cryptocurrency to understanding the stock market, from personal finance management to the ins and outs of online businesses. We're your one-stop hub for everything money-related. We're on a mission to demystify the world of finance, and we'd love for you to be part of this journey. The best part, it's, it's completely free. All it takes is a quick click of a button. So if you found this video helpful, do us a favor and show some love. So go ahead and hit that like button, subscribe, and don't forget to turn on notifications for the Money Masters channel. Until next time, keep mastering your money.